Let me show you how to audit a worksheet. So I'm on the auditing one worksheet at the bottom. And if you look in row one, I've got January through March, and then quarter one, April through June, quarter two. Before we scroll to the right, let's select cell B2. Go to the view tab at the top, freeze panes, click freeze panes. Now if you scroll to the right, we've got quarter three, quarter four, and a total. If you want to audit a worksheet to make sure that there's consistency with the formulas that were done, if you notice, go to cell E2. It's the sum of B2 to D2. And just click through column E. That one's good. Look over in column I. I'm in I2. That looks good. Go click R10. Go to the word formulas up at the top. And there's the formula auditing group. Select trace precedence one time. And if you notice, in that arrow going across, it picked up quarter one, there's a dot, a circle, I, column I, circle, M, and Q. Select trace precedence again. And now it's showing you where it picked up those totals. I'm going to shrink this down to 90%. Trace precedence again. So it picked up Georgia and Florida and gave you the grand total. Trace precedence again. So whoever put this file together, uh, there is consistency in the formulas. And there are no more trace precedence. So click on remove arrows one time. And there you go. If you're saying, Chris, show me what this looks like if it was done incorrectly, at the bottom of your screen, select Auditing 2 dash wrong. Let's go back to 90% in the bottom right. If you see everything, you don't have to go to 90%. Select R10, trace precedence once. So far okay, trace precedence again. You can see we already have a little bit of an issue with consistency. A third time, now I'm getting really worried because I can tell right now it's not right. Looking at column, comparing quarter one to quarter two, I can tell it's not right. And trace precedence again. And this is definitely something I would probably redo the formulas on completely and remove arrows. Go back to Auditing 1 and click, and we'll continue on from the Auditing 1 worksheet.